Hey everyone, Tappers here once again, and welcome back to the Super Mario RPG Let's Play. So when we last left off, we defeated Birdo in order to gain further entrance into Nimbus Castle, and apparently Valentina got found out by us and has retreated along with Birdo and totally not shy away. So uh, there's only one more part of this castle that we have to get through, but we need to get these uh, bluebirds to get out of our way. Okay. And if we hit this platform, we find, oh my god, it's a star. And we get a level up immediately, because I totally did not grind for, uh, did not grind death abuse the, uh, star off screen. Oh yeah, and we just took out Birdo with a star. Totally legit. But, what I did off screen was I got enough so that everybody would be at level 16. So basically I grinded one level, including what you see now. So we go through the door and we are in the clouds. And the clouds have eyes, the hills have eyes. Mario has that stupid, <laughs> that freaking XOR face. Also you saw those chests there. Um, that was from when I had that vine, fr that climb from Bean Valley. Also, yeah, we can't get through there still. But that doesn't matter. So up next, when we hit that spring, we're going to be immediately thrust in a boss fight. I'm just checking to make sure I have everything set as I need to. And hopefully I will not game over. Because I totally didn't game over like five times when I was trying to death abuse the death abuse experience, all that stuff. And so we find out apparently the citizens kind of have a feeling they know that something's fishy and they're calling her a phony I guess and all that stuff but let's not uh, forget the fact that they're just hopping about on clouds no we don't have to worry about them collapsing from underneath or anything like that but Mario makes it just in time for a boss fight that bird brain has a permanent brain cramp well, maybe that's because he's a bird brain. Ooh. Well, but yeah. So we fight Valentina, who is ten times bigger than what she was on the overworld. Bigger, you can go as many ways as you want, but that's besides the point. So the main annoyance in this fight is that uh, we have to do a one-on-one -on -one fight with Birdo. And he will always take the character that is in the uh, second spot to do a one-on-one. -on -one. If you lose this, it's game over, and I missed that attack badly. And he's using multi-strike a lot, and I am not hitting this uh, timing right. But fortunately, I now I, I brought Mallow for a couple reasons. Um, basically, oh, okay, that missed. Um... He has the ability to heal himself, uh, and then also he's got Shocker, which can do pretty significant damage. 92 is not bad. Um, it uses a move called Flutter Hush, but it'll do absolutely nothing if you give it uh, Mute Immunity. So I gave him the Wake Up Pin for not just this part of the fight, but the next part of the fight. After, And if you block that correctly, you can, do, uh, you can have it do zero damage. But... Um, there's a, there is a second and third phase to this fight, but um, yeah, you have to get past this first. Peach is absolutely terrible one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Gino can be pretty decent, and uh, I'm starved later. Poor Birdo. I mean, Valentina treats him like utter crap, and yeah. Um, Bowser, I guess, would be fine because he's got all that defense. Yeah, when you do enough damage, then you chase him off. But now be ready because Valentina is going to unleash her arsenal of magic. Most of it is ice ma related magic, which does eh, decent damage, I guess. Um, one thing to note is she's immune to ice, I think. And yeah, because she's got this kind of sprite, it she's got jiggle physics for some reason. Also, she can slap you from midair somehow. I don't question this. Um, but I I'm still trying to kind of make sense of her sprite. I mean, 
it looks like she's floating on some sort of pedestal, having a wine glass and a bird for a wig, which I think was already mentioned. And I, I can never get that timing right. I don't know why. But we're just going to punch her and her... Yeah, I think we already mentioned this. Also, uh, I want to say that her special defense is alright, and now she seems to want to use Blizzard quite a bit. I don't know if she's holding out on some of the attacks until um, this last phase, but it, it's kind of hard to say. I'm not too concerned with Mario's health right now because right on cue, Birdo bounces back in. Dodo, how could you lose already? Well, come on. Get over here. Yeah, she's very verbally abusive, and Mal just casually hops back. So, now we get to fight this for real. Um, I do want to use Psychopath on Valentina because I can only imagine what she has to say. Also, she's got over a thousand. I tell you, he's nothing. Yeah, as I said, poor Birdo. And, okay, yeah, I can go ahead and use, uh, I don't know if I was going to use a healing item or some. Oh, yeah, I was going to group heal. Or, no, I'm sorry, group hug. Now, I think this is the point of the fight where... Um, now, I could take out Birdo, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I would use Shocker, but I think she might also be immune to that. And there's like... Now, as I was saying, I could take out Birdo, but the only thing that does... Oh, God, it has Petal Blast? Jesus. And... Oh, right. I I only gave Mal the wake-up pin. I didn't give him any sort of mushroom immunity, but... It doesn't matter. As long as Peach doesn't die, I'm good. But, as I was saying, uh, Birdo, you can take out if you want, but there's really no point because um, you basically just disable him from attacking. I mean, it does make the fight faster and less dangerous if he decides to take out Peach. But, I'm not really concerned with that. Uh... Oh, she also has Diamond Saw. I, there is another attack I want to say... Oh, God, I did 65? Uh, one attack I think she has is Aurora Beam, or she has... Um, what's the attack called? Uh, oh, uh, Light Beam. Or Light Bubble Beam, which is totally not water-based. Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't even know if there's anything else to say about this fight that I haven't already said, but uh, basically if you take out Valentina then the fight pretty much ends automatically. You could take out Birdo to get extra um, experience and maybe coins, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, this fight's over. I don't believe... Or No, I did it wrong. No way! I can't believe this! Except I should have did it in a more bitchy fashion or something. I don't know. So, Mal, or, Birdo just grabs her by the bird-wigged head and she just floats away. Because she totally didn't fly in there on her own. And we also got 200 coins for effort. So, that's it for Valentina. We're not going to see her again. No way. She's certainly gone for good. Hurry up. Let's go after her. I know she has the key. Doink. Yeah, Key's totally hurt, guys, because they're... I mean, the thing is, like, almost as big as him. And he shoves it into his pants or something like that. And we get to wait here through a rainstorm from a parasol that I guess Peach lent Mario. Because she totally doesn't have her own at all. After all, she didn't throw away that parasol she had back in the Mushroom Kingdom when she joined us. But now the coast is clear, and the statues have quickly been replaced by the King of Nimbus Land. And we meet the King and Queen, who are, of course, his parents, because that's how it works in RPGs. Uh, I am King Nimbus, because that's his name, apparently, King Nimbus. So everybody gets introduced, and of course, ladies first, Princess Peach. Ah, uh, I've heard so much better. May I have your autograph? And this is kind of a running gag, because, well... This king wants this! Ellipses, 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 is Mario. He helped me from the start. Because apparently, 
Okay, now this is sort of worth... Yeah, the Jumping Mario. Yeah, that's totally Mario's title, but... Uh, yeah, one tiny little hop. And, yeah, apparently that's... Hallelujah! Uh, 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 fantastic. Show me again later. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I'm even... Yeah. I, mean, it, I guess the fortunate thing for Bowser is he does get a autograph. But I think this is kind of where the... the, the this sort of bothered me back in the day where... Um, Apparently, Gino is not noteworthy enough to get a uh, uh, autograph or anything like that. And of course, the king, like everybody else, can't get the name of uh, Star Road right because they keep saying it's Star Hill or whatever. But what I've been kind of neglecting to go through here as the dialogue's going by is apparently the star piece w crashed into the volcano, which you would think in its would incinerate it, but apparently not, because apparently they know something. And this is kind of what bothers me. How do they know about a Zar dragon? It, it's like, how, did you survive, or is it like just a dragon of legends? But I, I don't know. So we uh, talked to this guy in here, and you can actually get some items from some of the people because they're gracious enough to help the prince. We get a flower jar f from... I want to say we got it from... Oh, he was the guy that probably had all the keys, except for that he didn't have a key. Also, cool little treasure room where we get a statue erected for all the characters. Kind of sweet. Oh, yeah, and there was a treasure here, which I completely forgot about. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, wait. Actually, there is uh, one other thing that I can do uh, before I go. Aside from uh, heading this way, I don't think there's anything through here. Let me see. Oh, there's a treasure chest here, and there's a pathway. Oh, actually, I can jump on this person and just go up here. Shortcut, speed running, and oh, I'm, I've already been here. That was a complete waste of time. Uh, there is one thing I can do, and I, I'm going to make this a shorter segment than usual, is... There's a couple of places I can visit. If you go in here, remember this mug? It's none other than Croco, and we snuck on him, which means we're going to do battle for the third time. Uh, I'm not sorry. This fight will tell me all where the hidden treasures are. All mine. Adios, fools. Bonk. And apparently he dropped something, which is the signal ring. If you equipped it, it'll ring at the location of a hidden treasure. Yeah, this is basically how you're supposed to find out about hidden treasures. Is you keep it equipped it, and then you hear a ding, and then you'll know that there's a treasure inside a certain screen. But I'm not going to equip it because it really doesn't matter. So we got... Uh, pardon me, I burped. Apparently there is one other thing. If you head out here, just inexplicably, it's shy away. Oh, oh, busted. What to do? What to do? And then... I'll give you this fertilizer if you let me go, okay? Yeah, we get the fertilizer. Do not throw this away because you want to have this. Um, what else is there? Uh, I'm just going to throw away a pick-me-up because I can get these for cheap. And then fly away disappears for good and we're on our way. Uh, I do want to show off uh, one thing before... Okay, is it down here? Yeah. So, these guys were blocking the way up ahead of this but lo rolling royalty is allowed. But apparently, since Mallow is officially the prince, we can actually get through now. Of course! Please, enjoy yourself. Be careful not to fall in the volcano. Yeah, because we totally don't want to go there. We totally don't want to progress with the plot. If you jump in here, um, I want to say it heals you, but if you stay in here for too long, Mario will head to... Uh, middle and he'll sort of pass out but not really uh, there's no danger beyond the cliffs of the volcano and that's it but that's not the last bit of the segment I wanted to show um, yeah we want to head to the warp spring and we want to head back to Rose Town because there is something we can do and now I will mention with the fertilizer uh Casually, I never knew how to get it because there's no way to know that you just walk out inexplicably into thin air. Because, I mean, 
You can totally do that, legitimately. You guys, you know what you have? That's a formal idea. Have the shadow collected or listen to the guard. You got to feed value of the failed. It's a long time. The fertilizer you got there, and Mario collapses yet again. Short attention span? No, no way. Uh, fertilizer on the brain. Will you give it to me? Yeah, we'll give it to you. I don't know if I want to have that kind of stuff. Kind of raz my style and all that. I'll plant the seed and the fertilizer. Now, I thought I always thought the fertilizer was supposed to go before the seed. Nothing's happening. Well, oh, he cats. It's a beanstalk. We totally haven't seen this before. Well, wow. This is amazing. This is unreal. The lottery without a Texas. The air flight without a parachute. Geese have been there to break your fall. The happy gardeners monthly of the year. Fix sure they had you. And you think I could use a little more fertilizer? And Mario collapses. Because he totally didn't collapse from the rant that he went through. So we go up here and we climb for ages to find... Hey, we're back in Nimbus Land. But not really because it's playing the other music. Inside we get a lazy shell. And a lazy shell. Yeah, because they were kind of lazy to make up a different name. But what is the lazy shell, you ask? Well, let's let's take a look. So, as you can see, one is a weapon, which is... Okay, it boosts Mario's attack to 178. How much attack does he have? 148. Yes, this boosts his attack by 30. That... This is a real This is his best item in the game, which you really want to use. Now the lazy shell, on the other hand. Okay, let's take. Let's look at Mario for. No, actually, let's look at Peach. Okay, she has 88 defense and 71 uh, magic defense. Also, she got 130 attack and 71 magic attack. So if we show it to her, yeah, her attacks drop by 50 and. Her defense is raised by 50, I think? Was it 50? No, they, they raised by 100. Almost. Yeah, this is a really awesome piece of armor if you're willing to uh, sacrifice attack. I'm not going to use it at the moment. Actually, I'm not even sure if I'm going to use it at all. I will say that in a low-level run, which, of course, are a thing on the internet, um, basically... They're what kind of make the challenge possible. But um, with that, I don't think... Oh, no, wait. Actually, there is uh, one other thing I want to do. Uh, yeah, okay. I wanted to go to Marymore because there was something that we can do with the Bright card that we couldn't really do before. Or whatever. So if we talk to this guy, that card you have there... How about selling to me for, oh, say, a hundred coins? No! Totally not worth it. Five frog coins. Five! That's major! What else do you have? You're killing me here! Alright then, how about ten? That's ten frog coins! Um, I don't remember if he offers you anything else, but I'm gonna say it's a deal, cause... Uh... Yeah, eh... Uh, hey, hey, hey. Oops! I've lost my dentures! Uh, okay... Now, it's party time! Yeah, good luck finding the, uh, what's it called? Uh, Great Guy Casino, because, yeah, you can totally take on a bunch of Chomp Chomps and Geckos and Chompies, or... No, I'm sorry, Chewies. So, uh, we have, like, 85 Frog Coins, which is totally enough to buy several things. Uh, with that, I'm going to call the segment, and next time we're going to check out this volcano and hopefully find the star piece that's at the end of it. So, uh, until then, this has been Tapris, and I'll see you later.